the school of aquaponics bam brooklyn st michael from the school of aquaponics this is episode two of ask the aquaponics guide you got questions and he's got answers this question is coming from rick out of huntsville alabama i'm just getting started with aquaponics and i want to build an nft system i want to know if it's possible if i can use two inch pvc pipes in order to grow Okay, cool. So I see this question a lot. This is a question that a lot of people ask that are interested in NFT, nutrient film technique, um, that method of growing. So the question really boils down to what type of crop are you going to be growing? That's what it's really going to come down to. Um, so it's really a yes and a no, but it's a finite yes. It's a small yes. And what I mean by that is that it really depends on what type of crop you're going to be growing or what stage of the crop you're going to be growing. If you're going to use it for seedlings, cool. You can you can do that. Seedlings or like microgreens or something like that, fine. You're going to be okay. But as soon as you start trying to let the plant grow to a maturity, you're done. You can forget about using 2-inch pipes. Or if you do use 2-inch pipes and get away with it, you're going to have a you're going to have to be really really um uh attentive to the, the, the stage in the plant's life and the root mass that it's accumulating inside of the pipes. You're gonna have to be really attentive and, and you're really limited to which type of plant you can grow. You might be able to squeeze in like some lettuce or some spinach, but that's, I mean, that's pretty much what you're limited to. And even those, if you let the, um, the lettuce grow, the lettuce uh, uh, grow to a certain stage, then the lettuce is gonna eventually, uh, it's gonna eventually grow roots a root mass that is too large for the um, two inch pipes to accommodate. And then what's gonna happen is, once those roots end up, um, once the root mass ends up becoming so large that the pipes can't uh, accommodate the, um, the, the root mass, the water and the nutrients that are flowing through the NFT pipe, what's gonna happen is, is they're gonna get restricted and water is gonna go to the path of least resistance. And in your case, once those roots um, once the root mass accumulates and fills up the two inch pipe, the least resistance is on the floor. That's what's going to happen. It's going to leak out, um, because the, be, due to the restriction, it's going to leak out and it's going to fall on the floor. Now this happens during nighttime when you're cozy and snuggled up with your pillows. The next morning when you wake up, guess what's going to happen? Everything's going to be destroyed. Your ecosystem is done. Fish are dead. Bacteria are dead. Plants are dead. Pump is just making humming, making a humming noise. It's trying to suck up the last bit of water that is inside of the sump tank. So you have to be very, very mindful of this if you're deciding to use a, um, a two-inch pipe because it doesn't really give a lot of a space for the roots to grow, and you're limited. If a, a lot of plants like kale, um, Swiss chard, you're not going to be able to grow these plants to maturity because they're going to clog up the pipes. They're going to clog up the pipes, and this is um, this is the last thing that you want to be um, to occur in your aquaponics system, especially if you're doing uh, doing it on a commercial scale. This is the, this is something that you don't want to be worried about. So what I would advise, depending on the crop that you're growing, if you want to grow some, um, if you want to use the two inch pipes for seedlings or something like that, by all means, that will work just fine. But as soon as you start trying to um, tiptoe and, and, and trying to beat the system, then that's when it's going to be all bad. It's going to be all bad. So what I would advise you to do is to invest. Invest in the correct equipment. Invest in the correct pipe size and invest in the correct material. I would, I would, the least I would go, if you want to grow to maturity, the least I would go is um, three inch. Three inch pipes, three and four inch pipes will uh, suffice for plants that are going to be, depending on the crop, plants, uh, certain crops that are going to grow to maturity, like the kale, Swiss chard, um, the lettuce, spinach, um, the arugula, all those will work in the three and four inch pipes. Those will do just fine for that type of application. And I know exactly where this question is coming from too. It's, it's some, usually people who ask this question is because of, it's a budget issue. You go to Home Depot, you're looking around, you see the two inch pipes right there and you start getting curious. You see the two inch pipes for $10 and, you, and then you look up and you see the three inch pipes for $15. So that's when your, your brain starts trying to work. Let me see, maybe I can figure this two inch pipe thing out. Maybe, let me, you know, no, it's not the way it's gonna work. It's not even worth it because what's gonna happen is once you do the two inch pipes and you're trying to grow crops to maturity, you're gonna find out that it's gonna be a big headache. You're gonna end up getting rid of those pipes 
and then you're going to end up buying the three inch pipes anyway. So you just lost all the money and you actually dug yourself a hole. So it's not even worth it. I'm going to say it just like that. It's not even worth it. So um, be smart, invest in the right equipment, invest in the right knowledge and the right um, information. And that will be the premise and the foundation of your aquaponic journey. And you'll do just fine if you stay with that, um, with that advice. This is Brooklyn St. Michael with the School of Aquaponics. Toodles.